Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty big video for you guys. I think maybe the biggest one we've ever had. We have 20 titles on all to go through, 5 first appearances, and 15 honorable mentions. But there's definitely some books in here you want to pick up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, weekend in October 7th, 2022. First up from DC Comics, Dark Crisis The Deadly Green Number 1. This features the first appearance of Super Swamp Thing. Now we always mention this with these DC characters. It really depends on what DC does with these characters going forward as to how important these characters are going to be in the future. You know, DC doesn't have the media presence that Marvel has with the TV show streaming series and feature films. You know, the MCU is very strong and with Disney behind Marvel, they're just pushing a ton of media out. That gives Marvel a lot more opportunity to bring new characters into the mainstream, get more eyes on those characters. DC doesn't really have this, so it really depends on what DC does with these characters in the comic books. If they make these characters important going forward, this is going to be a book to own. But if they don't, you know, this may be a character that goes nowhere. So this one here is definitely going to be a little speculative if you want to pick it up. But this is the first appearance of a new character, a new Swamp Thing character. There is a big fan base, big collector base for this character. So this one here may be worth picking up. So go ahead and grab this one here if you can. If you can't, though, Put this one here on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from DC Comics, Sword of Azrael number 3. This features the first appearance of an ancient foe who feeds on innocent hearts and molten lava. Now, like we just mentioned a moment ago, it really depends on what DC does with this character going forward as to how important it's going to be in the future and if it's going to be desirable with collectors and fans. And you also have to take into account that the Sword of Azrael is one of the B title series for DC Comics. It's not one of their mainstay, not one of their tentpole series. So that being said, this is definitely going to be speculative. If you choose to pick it up, you're going to be betting on the fact that DC does something important with this character going forward. This one here, we think you probably have some time on. So put this one here on your B list for now, but keep an eye on it. Next up for Marvel Comics, Hulk number 9. This features the first appearance of Monolith, the ruler of a society built for Hulks by Hulks. You know, the Incredible Hulk, huge fan base, huge collector base for this character. It's a fan favorite character, and this is the first appearance of a new character within this title series. Like we just mentioned a moment ago, Marvel has a lot of media at their disposal to bring these characters into your living room or on the big screen, get a lot more eyes on these characters, make them more popular going forward. So we always say pick up first appearance of new characters in Marvel titles. You know, for the cover price, you can't really go wrong. Three or four bucks, you could be sitting on a winner. So this one here, grab this one here for your collection if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list, but keep an eye on it. Next up for Marvel Comics, Edge of Spider-Verse number 5. This features the first appearance of Web Weaver, the first gay alternate universe Spider-Man. It also features the first appearance of Hunter Spider. And it also features the first appearance of a spider character created by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, the directors of Into the Spider-Verse. Now this one here, we did highlight this about a week or two ago, but for whatever reason it wasn't released on that day. It's coming out today. This one here, definitely pick this up for your collection. Three first appearances in this book, and one of the characters that is making a first appearance was created by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. You know, they directed Into the Spider-Verse. Very popular. So in our opinion, this is one you definitely want to pick up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. And finally from Archie Comics, Archie Halloween Spectacular number 1. This features the first appearance of Trick and Treat, two impish magical creatures. Now, we put this on the list just because it features the first appearance of new characters. You know, Archie Comics, very popular with fans and collectors, especially the Archie title series. But this features the first appearance of these trick and treat characters. This is a Halloween special edition. So this one here, we don't really see these characters being important in the future. But you know, these holiday special issues, they're not really heavily purchased or heavily collected. You know, so there's not a lot of them out there. So if people go back in the future and look for them, there's not a lot on the market. You're definitely going to drive the price up on these. So because of that, this one here may be important in the future but we don't think it's important because of these new trick and treat impish magical creatures that they're introducing so this one here definitely a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up you're specking on the fact that no one else is going to pick this up and it's going to be worth something later on so grab this one here if you can if you can't though put it on your b-list and keep an eye on it and now for the honorable mentions from idw earth divers number one a group of apocalypse survivors who discover a time travel portal in a cave theorize a precise point in history when everything took a turn for the worst and resolve to rectify the problem by traveling to 1492 to kill Christopher Columbus. Now, in August of this year, just a few months ago, the writers said that this was actually already picked up an option by 20th Century Television. Now, this is one we definitely think you should pick up for your collection. Whenever these small press and indie publishers have one of their titles picked up an option for a TV show, feature film, or streaming series, that's a huge price driver for these particular titles. And the fact that this has already been optioned, this one here is a definite must-have in our opinion. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Image Comics, Dark Ride number 1. A young man lands his dream job at Devil Land, a horror-themed amusement park but quickly discovers the real nightmares behind the scenes and the truth about its reclusive creator. 
Now this one here sounds like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project. And like we just mentioned a moment ago, when any of these small press or any publishers are picked up an option for a TV show, feature film, or streaming series, that's a huge price driver. And this one here sounds like it can lend itself very well to one of these projects. So in our opinion, this is a great spec bet to pick up. Grab if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list, but keep an eye on this one. Next up from Image Comics, Junkyard Joe number one. This is the origin of a character introduced in the comic series Geiger. Now Geiger, that title series, huge fan base, huge collector base for that particular title series. And this character was first introduced in that title series. This is a spinoff for Junkyard Joe and this features his origin story. Now, if you can't get every comic book released, you know, very understandable. And if you want exposure to this particular character, we do recommend getting the first full appearance in Geiger instead of this Junkyard Joe number one. But this is the origin story of this character, fan favorite character, and this is his solo spinoff. These do have some value going forward, typically not as much as the first full appearance of the characters, but these premiere issues of these solo titles do have some value going forward. This is a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up. Grab this one here if you can. If you can't, put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Image Comics, Kaya number one. After the destruction of her village, a young girl with a magical arm and a fighting spirit is tasked with delivering her little brother to a faraway safe haven. Now this sounds like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project. Image Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in the past, so this one here is definitely going to be a spec bet if you choose to pick it up, but given the history of Image Comics titles being optioned, this one here may be a good spec bet. So pick this one up if you can for a spec. If you can't, though, put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Dark Horse Comics, Leonide the Vampire, Miracle at the Crow's Head. A small coastal village is home to normal people living quiet and simple lives, until a shipwreck brings a small coffin and its occupant into their midst. Now, Dark Horse has had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past for small screen and big screen projects, and this sounds like it lends itself very well to one of these projects. But you know, this is more of a Halloween-themed comic book. This is October. That's why a lot of these comics that we're presenting today have a horror theme to them, you know. Halloween's right around the corner. But you know, Dark Horse, like I said, has had a lot of their titles picked up in the past, and this could lend itself to a Halloween type of special for a TV show or streaming series. So this is definitely going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up. It may be worth doing so for the cover price, you know. You don't want to chase these later for more money. But this is definitely more speculative than a lot of the titles we mentioned today. So grab this one here for spec if you can. If you can't, though, put it in your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Dark Horse Comics, Night of the Ghoul number one. An obsessive horror fan stumbles upon what was thought to be a destroyed footage of a film destined to be as classic as Dracula, but the frames may have captured a monster that is more than myth. Now this one here does sound like it lends itself very well to a big screen or small screen project, you know. This is definitely horror themed or Halloween themed, just like the book we just mentioned. But this one here sounds like it has a lot more of what Hollywood is looking for to option. So this one here definitely has a little bit more promise to be optioned than the one we just mentioned from Dark Horse. So in our opinion, this one here is definitely worth picking up to spec on. If you can't get them all, they'll put it on your beat list, but definitely keep an eye on this one. Next up from Dynamite Comics, Sirens Gate number one. Tara, an aspiring writer, has never thought of herself as anyone special, for better or worse. All that is about to change. Now this title series has been getting a little bit more attention, but Dynamite, you know, they're not really known for having any of their title series hold value in the future. That's why we typically don't include a lot of Dynamite titles in our list. But this one here, like I said, has been getting a little bit more attention in the press. This is definitely going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up. Grab if you can. If you can't, though, put it on your B-list. We do think you have some time on this one. Next up from Dynamite Comics, Sweetie Candy Vigilante number one. This is a dark humor infused horror fantasy that tells a tale of Sweetie, a beautiful but unhinged well-meaning blood relative of the mythological Candyman. Now this one here is from Dynamite as well, but this one here sounds like it has a little bit more promise. This one here definitely sounds like it lends itself very well to a small screen big screen project. That being said though, Dynamite hasn't really had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past. So this one here, once again, is going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up. But in our opinion, this one here does sound a little bit more promising than the one we just mentioned previously. So grab this one here if you can. If you can't though, put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Saturday Morning Adventures number 1. Now this is the premiere issue inspired by the 1987 animated series. Now in my opinion this here looks like it harkens back to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures that came out back in 1988. And that book is very popular with fans and collectors. That sells for huge premium in the secondary market. This one here we definitely think is worth picking up the spec on. You know for the cover price we don't really think you can go wrong with this. Anything with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that features a premiere edition of a new series or the first appearance of a new character. You know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles still going super strong. Huge fan base. Huge collector base. So this one here in our opinion is a no-brainer. Pick this one here up if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on this one. Next up from Image Comics, Three Keys number one. Humanity's survival against the wrath of the great old ones lies in the hands of a young woman and her furry yet violent mentor. 
Now, once again, this sounds like it lends out very well to a small screen, big screen project. Image Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in the past. So this one here is definitely a speculative bet. If you choose to pick it up, you're specking on the fact that it'll be picked up an option and it'll go somewhere. If it's not, you know, this one here may not have a lot of value in the future. So this is a spec bet if you choose to pick it up. Grab if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list, but keep an eye on this one as well. Next up from DC Comics, Gotham City Year One. This features the origin of Gotham City. Now the Batman origin story has been done to death, but we don't really have a lot of the origins of Gotham City itself. So this one here, we do think is probably worth picking up and adding to your collection. You know, Gotham City is definitely one of the most well-known and fan favorite of the mythical cities created in comic books, and this features the origin story of that city. So in our opinion, this one here is worth picking up for the cover price. Go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. Next up from DC Comics, Superman number one facsimile. Now this is a facsimile reprint of Superman number one. You know, these facsimile reprints, these are definitely worth picking up, man. These are no-brainers. If you've looked at any of these facsimile reprints over the past few years, you know, as time goes on, these trade for huge premium in the secondary market. Just look at the Amazing Fantasy 15 that came out in 2019. Marvel did a facsimile edition of that particular title as well. And that trades for three, $400 in CGC 9.8. Whenever you have a facsimile of a comic book where the original is priced way out of the league of collectors, they typically do really well in the secondary market. So this one here, we definitely think is worth picking up for the cover price. Go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, AXE Star Fox number one. This is the first solo title featuring Star Fox. Now, like we mentioned a little bit earlier, sometimes it's more important to pick up the first appearance of these characters than their first solo title series, but the first solo title series do have some value in the future as well. It really all depends on the popularity of the particular character. So it really depends on what Marvel does with this character going forward as to how important their first appearance will be, much less how important their first solo title will be. So this is definitely going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up. You're just specking on Marvel making more out of this character, out of the Star Fox character, and this character becoming more important that people are actually going to want the first solo title series. So this one here, it's a spec bet if you choose to pick it up. Grab if you can. If you can't, put in your B-list and address it later. Next up from Marvel Comics, Spider-Man number one. Now this series continues from the Edge of Spider-Verse to 2022 series and debuts new Spider-Verse characters. This also features the reintroduction of Merlin. Now, with any of the Spider-Man titles, we always say it's worth picking up the first appearance of new characters, and this particular series is going to debut new Spider-Verse characters. So this is one we definitely think you should pick up and add to your collection. You know, Spider-Man has a huge fan base, huge collector base, probably the most heavily collected of all the Marvel characters. So it's always worth picking up these premiere issues of a Spider-Man series, especially if they debut new characters. So this one here we think is definitely one you should pick up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. And finally for Marvel Comics, Tomb of Dracula facsimile number one. Now this is a facsimile reprint of Tomb of Dracula number one, the first appearance of Dracula. Like we just said a moment ago with the Superman number one facsimile, these facsimile editions, very popular with collectors and they seem to always go up in value in the aftermarket as years go by. Like we mentioned, when these original comics are priced out of the reach of collectors, they go after these facsimile editions because these facsimiles, they're not just copies of the story itself, but they're actually the original ads. They're actually the original comic as it was when it first hit the shelf. So this is as close as you'll ever get to reading the actual comic as it was intended when it hit the shelf originally. So these are great books to own in your collection, even if they don't go up in value. These are great books to have because you actually have the original copy of how it was intended, the original ads, the original story, the original art, everything is there. So in our opinion, this is one you definitely got to pick up for your collection go ahead and grab this one so there you have the 20 titles that we have for you guys this week there's definitely a lot of books in there but definitely a lot of books worth picking up for your collection so please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below thumbs up if you like this video and as always please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you for joining us here at certified collectibles and we'll see you again next time